Hey guys, welcome to the ITS Nut of the Week. Today we're going to continue our coils and ways to manage your rope. So let's talk about the Alpine coil. So when it comes to rope management, the Alpine coil is a great field expedient and quick way to store rope. So the first thing you want to do is measure out possibly a 12 inch section of your rope and what you're going to do is coil that now around your hand. So what I'm going to do is basically take an overhand grip with that piece of rope and this is paracord but you can use pretty much anything for this technique and I like to use my elbow to to create my wrap. So I'm just going to continue wrapping around that section here And as I'm doing this, I'm just making sure it stays consistent, doesn't get any twists. So now I've got the, the coil now done. And I'm going to take the leftover section here, and I'm going to get approximately probably double the length of what I started with, so maybe a 24-inch section or so. And I'm going to take that and put a turn in it or a bite. Now what I'm going to do is take that bite, and I'm going to wrap, let me get the correct strand here. Lost it here. All right. So I'm going to take that bite and I'm going to wrap over it. So there's, there's the bite that's created there. I'm going to wrap over that bite. And what I want to do when I cross over this is I want to trap that in there just like so. And I'm going to continue to wrap over the bite until I come with just enough slack so that it pulls through that bite or the loop that's created. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the opposite section. So whenever this bite was formed, one of the tail ends here is what that wrap was started with. The other tail end is now hidden in here and I'm just going to, since I can't really tell, I'm just going to start pulling on the sections here until I get the correct, there we go. So that's the section now. So one end of this is what wrapped, the other end is this. So I'm going to pull this until it traps that working end tightly into the rope, or into the coil. So that is essentially the Alpine coil. So your wraps get determined by how much slack you have, and then what you want to do is just trap a little bit of that working end inside of that when you pull the coil, and that is the Alpine coil. For more information on the knot you just saw tied, check the description for a link to the full article on ITS. Remember, if you're enjoying the Knot of the Week series, please consider joining our crew leader membership and allow us to give you back something in return for supporting. Check back every Tuesday for a new Knot of the Week, and thanks for watching.